and welcome to my corner of the internet. Today I am going to be answering some questions that were asked on one of my videos previously and it was a mixed response. I got some that need a big answer and I will answer them in some story time videos and some that just need a quick little answer and I'm going to answer them now. I am very happy because I wanted to get over 100 questions and I got 125. That's a lot. All right, let's find the easy ones and then I'm going to delve into the bigger ones in my next few videos. I love traveling. I feel like a lot of you already know that. I'm currently in another country. I've spent a large part of my adult life traveling around by myself. I love going to hostels, going to Airbnbs, staying in hotels. To a lot of people, when I tell them that, it doesn't make sense. It's scary. They could never. They always need someone with them. But to me and the people I meet on my adventures, it just makes sense. It's fun. It's freeing. And at one point in my life, it was pretty much how I lived full time. I also love shopping. This one is actually quite new. This, I think, came from um, the lockdowns. I think a lot of us started online shopping and used it as a, a way to look forward to something. Oh, I've just ordered that thing. It's going to be here in a week. Yay. And then you have a week to look forward to something when there wasn't all that much to look forward to. We didn't know when the end of the lockdown was going to be. We, we didn't know when the pandemic was going to be over and when everything was going to start feeling like normal again. So a lot of us turned to online shopping, me included. <laughs> I'll show you some of the things I've just got. At the moment, I love getting jewelry and not just any jewelry statement jewelry thankfully these are all really cheap <laughs> last month when i was traveling around spain and portugal i also started getting a little bit tempted by supporting the smaller more local brands so i'm very tempted to make that my new thing whilst i'm traveling to also purchase earrings from small handmade local places i do dream of being sponsored by some companies that will send me this kind of thing but for now i am having so much fun buying them myself yes i love camping i've camped in random fields in woodlands in people's gardens in very messy festival sites and also in really luxurious glamping sites i love it i've done it by myself i've done it with friends i've done it with lovers it's definitely not something i'm going to be stopping anytime soon no i actually hate horror movies and wish they didn't exist <laughs> I think they're awful. I hate the thought of them. I hate even seeing a glimpse of an advert for one. I really wish there was an option on Netflix actually to just stop them from appearing in my feed because the amount of times that I have clicked on a film, I've got into it and then suddenly realized it's a horror film. I hate that. <laughs> Okay, my favorite food is probably avocado on toast. I love it. I am a huge fan. I especially love it if it's got two poached eggs on top, a little bit of salad, drizzle of oil, some seeds, salt and pepper, ooh, some beetroot hummus, and the toast has to be sourdough. No other toast. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big fan. I get asked this a lot. Now, 40% of my following across pretty much all platforms is from India. So I regularly get asked, when am I coming to India? I actually have started daydreaming about visiting, and not just quickly, but I started having daydreams recently of actually going and living there for a bit and experiencing it. I don't think the time is now, but I think there will be a time. I'm still figuring that out. I have two countries that are definitely at the top of my list, and that is Australia and Portugal. I'm currently in Portugal. I love it here. It is very easy for me to come back to Portugal because I live two hours away by plane. Okay, there's a little bit more that goes into that two hour journey. It probably makes it more like a six hour journey. But in comparison to Australia, I think when you add everything in, it is almost two days. I'm hoping to go back to Australia in a couple of months just to figure out, is this where I want to live? I very much struggle with commitment and I struggle to stay in places more than a month, sometimes more than a week. I don't know yet which one is at the top. I'm still figuring it out. I do think it's important when you travel though not to just go somewhere for a couple of days and to experience it a little bit longer. I have friends in Portugal that I made five, six years ago when I first started traveling by myself. They're still my friends. I still talk to them. I still see them when I come and visit. I absolutely love that. And I think that is another reason I keep coming back to Portugal. I am on a mission. I want to figure out where I want to live. I struggle with the UK. To me, it is too dark, too cold, too wet, and it doesn't actually feel all that friendly. But I've been there most of my life. 
And I think when you have been somewhere most of your life, you're gonna see more of the negatives than the average person, right? So the answer to that question is, I don't know, but I'm hoping to find out real soon. Marketing, I'm a huge marketing nerd. I actually had to stop myself from giving people around me marketing advice because I realized it was annoying <laughs> and unappreciated if they didn't ask for it. So now I try to sit quietly and not give out any marketing advice unless somebody asks me. Yes, I love it. And I actually get a little bit sad when someone doesn't want to interview me. Like I've gone through the process with a few people where it's like, well, we've done an interview and then they've been like, oh, actually, this isn't what we need right now. Actually, we're not going to do that anymore. And I am crushed. I find that a little bit sad, but also quite motivating because how do I make myself more interesting? How do I get people to, to come to me and me not have to go to them? I want that. Yes. And only recently have I decided that that is somewhere I want to go. And that is because it feels like the direction of my job would benefit from me physically going over to USA. I have a lot of friends now and I feel I have a lot of opportunity over there. So I'm going to go and check it out. And I think I'm going to do that next month. I am just under five foot four. I thought for a long time I was five foot three, but I must have had a growth spurt somewhere <laughs> because I recently measured myself and I'm actually just under five foot four. Honestly, I actually can't answer this question with just one number because there's different parts of your body that you can shave, right? There's your face, there's your armpits, your toes, your legs, a few other places <laughs> and each part of my body has been shaved at different times but i think the answer you're looking for is around eight years now maybe longer is when i decided to stop shaving i have experimented with little bits i recently waxed my top lip i buffed away the hair on one of my legs <laughs> my left leg left the right leg absolutely the same as it always is i've not touched my armpit hair the longest i think maybe, maybe nine years i'm not really sure I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to stop there. If you would like to see me answer more questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.